You are listening to the No Invite Podcast. Season three. The progression. The progression. Follow us on Instagram at no underscore invite underscore podcast or look us up on YouTube at No Invite Podcast. The best kept secret. Oh, was both of those Spanish? Hey, we back new by podcast episode 92. This is season three, the progression. You know who I am. We got the best kept secret in the house. What's happening? Hello, there. Hey, and we got hot mama, HT mama. You dig? Tony totally tie-dye <laughs> designs in the building. Hey, that's what it is. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I know you guys are wondering, you guys are like, um, what exactly is going on right now? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We're doing a Zoom. We're doing a Zoom three-way, which sounds kind of kinky, but really it's just, <laughs> we're not something we're used to. You know, I think, well, how many times, we, we, this is the only time we've ever did, no, we interviewed somebody, huh, Ann? We interviewed somebody on We on did three Zoom. people on the Zoom, yeah. So, well, now, you know, I stepped in my, for, for budgetary reasons, you know, we weren't able to, to get the past the 40-minute mark Zoom, but we have it now. So, we are definitely going to utilize and maximize it right now. And yes. We got hot mama. You got me, of course. You always got me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the, I'm that. I'm I'm your conscience. You feel me? I'm in the back of your head telling you to do all the wrong things at the right time. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, but uh, like a good friend to have, huh? <laughs> exactly. I'm the best friend to have. The best friend. The only one you should ever listen to. But look, so so check I don't it know out. about that. <laughs> exactly. Get it, man. Call exactly. him out. Where's Patty? <laughs> <laughs> Patty's here, but one of her one of her um, powers is that she's invisible, so she's not letting herself be seen right now. But she's here, she's here right now. She's definitely sure. here in spirit. She's like God. She's always there. If there's two of them are gathered, she's omnipresent. She's everywhere. <laughs> you can't even take a piss without her being there, and that's very, very, very scary. Just so you know, you'd be like, "Damn, Patty, turn away." I hope you're looking away and shit. You're not used to that by now. Like you know, nope. that's something that you never get used to, huh? That's something that's that's the reason why I could never understand, like when people are talking about God sees on and sees everything. I'm like, bro, if God really sees everything I do, I'm a piece of shit. And <laughs> man, listen, and, and he ain't God really ain't fucking with me. He, he's disgusted by me right now. <laughs> if God sees everything I do, then I know for sure when that judgment day comes, we're gonna have to have a conversation. Like I feel like we're gonna have to, God likes yeah. this show. <laughs> I think he does too. Cause I mean, if he was done with me, he would have canceled my shit already. You know what I'm saying? But here we are on season 40 of the Blaze Show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he obviously likes what he sees right now. You know, good lord. Thank thank you for another day, by the way. You know, in no in no way am I uh, um am I being fucking ungrateful. But yeah, but yeah, we back, you know, and we missed you. I know, I know we're in dire no. situations right now. Yeah. Uh, what's the going universe on don't want me to be great. Oh my god! Hey, they hating, like, huh? The universe is hating on your shine, or man. What? The universe thinks that it could stop me, but they don't realize, Whoa. you know, maneuvering and getting shit together is what I do best. So, <laughs> but yeah, I'm currently. I don't think that's I the universe. Like, I mean, that's the devil. The universe okay, wants whoever. you to win, but the devil's. <laughs> Getting in there, side side. Listen, the tap, the devil tap dancing on my nerves right now. I can't. He's, he moonwalking like, <laughs> for real. So I'm at home <sighs> with three sick babies. Mm-hmm. They're not babies, but they're little kids. But you know, once they get your babies. babies, yeah, once they're they babies. get sick, they turn into babies. It's like, hold on, why are all y'all in my bed? Like, help me understand. They're so like, mom, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> For, oh my goodness let me tell you one at a time <laughs> i swear don't get me wrong before i say this i love my kids I'm but proud. my son started throwing up and he before he like threw up he said mom my stomach hurt i'm like oh, okay well maybe you just gotta like take number two or something i don't know he's like no my stomach uh, and literally <sighs> vomited all down my face i was like i gotta get in my mouth I pushed him so hard. I felt so bad. I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Had but you know how you have those. Ran up out hey, of does there. Barf have a number? <laughs> like what number would be Barf? Like if like number two is know. poop, you know, like what would Barf be? Then three? Have a number? I thought that's when, barf you, I thought when you piss and shit on somebody. Or am I wrong? Or not somebody, but just in general. Like number so then two. four? I would say probably four. Number probably. four? Yeah. Number okay. four is a barf. <laughs> well, see, is barf. And they had both. So it was coming out of both ends. And it was just, it was a whole situation. So I think that's the number eight. 
<laughs> I'm, <proud. laughs> I'm so not I'm sure thinking, though. Don't quote me on that. I'm thinking my kids got like food poisoning or something because two of them like. it happened to. It, it, so and then it just so I found out when I took them to the emergency room. It's just a bug. Going around, so it lasts right? like a day. Yeah, it was going around to a lot of school age kids. So I'm like, all right, one got it, second got it, third got it. Boom! Now we all in the clear. Now come this week, and I'm like, okay. Oh, my cousin, who my baby was born, so I'm a mommy again. She just don't know that I'm the mommy, but she don't realize it. But the I am surrogate. <laughs> That's helpful. But That's she helpful. had a baby, <laughs> um, and then when she had her baby, um, everybody. I'm like fevers and so when they were having fevers it was like I had to tell them like you know what we about to go take some COVID tests man took the test everybody test positive but me I was like oh my god so I'm still the champion I ain't caught shit yet okay, at okay. all undefeated but I can't, everybody no comment. around me <laughs> but everybody around me is getting it I'm like this is why I tell people, like sometimes I know people, they get grossed out about some of the stuff that I eat, but mm-hmm. that I'm telling you that shit work. I eat sea moss, I eat black sea oil, I eat ashwagandha powder, I eat burdock root. I'm telling you, I really genuinely think that shit work because I'm, I'm good. I think eating pussy helps too, but I mean, that's just for me. Uh, but I haven't eaten pussy, so maybe <laughs> I mean, I've second been, day. I mean, for uh, me, everybody's either, body so. is different, so everybody's Now, I will say... So. I've definitely had a daily dose of vitamin D, and maybe that's okay. what it is. Yeah. Okay. It's very possible. You know, maybe there's something in the semen. No, but even at one point, he had it. That sounds like something a guy tells a girl, like, yeah, baby, you know my semen is rich, and you need to, you need to let me a bust inside you one time and let you know. Semen is pretty <laughs> useful. I'm just saying, like, have you ever busted a load on your shoes and then wiped it? It will clean them. I don't know. I didn't I didn't ever figure that out. Really? I'm saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> how, how do we get to that point is what i'm trying to understand like hold on what the fuck? i don't know but i did hear it's, it's, that it's gonna what cure do, what ails you <laughs> no it does help with acne there's protein inside the, the cum and it actually will help with acne and you see you and just you know, that out of part of your regimen and you guys say, and, and, uh, listen i be telling girls i'm like you got a man because if you got a man you can get rid of some of this right now just let them see in your face and I got you from there. Once again, that sounds that sounds like something you tell a girl just so she'll let you do some foul shit to her. You know what I mean? Hey, baby, you know this Coming shit's good for you. Coming from a woman, though. Shit, and well, hey, and well, you, like, are, like, this is your profession, right? Like, this is yes. your fucking line of hey, work. No, no, no. I, I'm just saying what it sounds like. Like, I'm all for it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm down to perpetuate that, whether it's real or not. You know what I'm saying? I'm down to help push that narrative. You dig what I'm saying? Everybody <laughs> needs a little, a little, a little target practice every now and then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But um, and if I can help you, listen. All I'm saying is <laughs> the vitamin D is good for you. There's protein in the pussy juice too, so it definitely will help clear up some acne. Like, get your face all wet. You know, it also <laughs> helps thicken your up. beard. I was about to say it helps thicken your beard too. Coming out of the home, <laughs> right now. It helps thicken your beard too if you want to like. I tell men all the time, you really want your beard to sprout, eat some pussy. Like, like hey, you think that we could, you think you could like really develop some kind of like beard facial thing with like pussy juice ingredients? Yes. Not to be used without the explicit consent of, you know, say no invite incorporated, you know what I'm saying? All the <laughs> and the juice. Had to throw well, that out there. Starting a new line of fucking face skincare and shit. Hey, yep, but we'll what if it really in. like, what if it really like <laughs> pop off though? Like, That's what I'm saying. Would need, we would need the people we would need like a host of, a of women of dudes. <laughs> i mean one dude can fuck multiple girls and still get the juices You're right see how the, that's the thing though Guys, see, it's like what are we talking about no it's because it's because look it's because uh, we're talking about developing our sounds, next business it sounds, cra- it sounds crazy right it sounds crazy right now I'm, I'm serious it sounds crazy but the reality is it's like people do vampire facials and shit where they put blood on their fucking face so how crazy what? is that let me, let me oh you've never heard of a vampire sir yeah a, a, so and break it down vampire, our local yes, professional, a vampire I think, so. va- a vampire facial is basically where you will take your own blood they um they put it in like a i forgot the name of the um the thing that they use, but they'll spin it down and you'll take like the platelets from your blood and you'll use that on your face. And it is a vampire facial. People do do it. It costs a lot of money too. Exactly. So wait, like blood, like 
like out of my veins right here. It looks like yes. all blood. So they'll draw your blood. They'll spin your blood down. They'll extract the good parts of it and they'll use that to put on your face. Oh, you don't seem like you. No, excuse me, I'm sorry. I guess I shouldn't knock other people's thing, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blood is I mean, kind of I mean, fragile. Who alive. are you? Who are you? You're just saying. You're just talking about how nut on motherfuckers' face, and then you talking about you talking about Lee looking know, down at this. Right. Hold on. You saying? <laughs> so you saying you won't nut on your face, but you won't let your own blood that came out of your body go on your face. Listen, I never said that I would do it for like a face regimen, maybe for funsies, but like not like <laughs> this, this blood sounds like it's. I mean, but like- you do have really good skin. So I wonder if you've already done it several times. <laughs> I mean, I could share. Yeah, what you've been getting, what you've been my, getting. My uh, face regimen. <laughs> yeah, y'all could, y'all could uh, talk about that later. You know? y'all, could, y'all could swap tips on how y'all, gl- y'all skin stay glowing and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But we hear uh, it's um, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you're sick. It's hella funny because I overhear the same thing. Uh, you didn't hear that I'm sick. Pause. You said that. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse your me. Household. You're right. Right. Let me. Yeah. Household. Yeah. Everyone else is sick. But you do you got survivors uh, guilt. No, huh? you're like, you're like, fuck it. I'm still pushing. <laughs> no, I feel day. like, <laughs> man, I feel like in all honesty, the only thing I'm sad about is my son missed his fifth grade graduation. So that sucks. we're going to have to do something to make that up. But beyond that, oh, man, she right. That's how I feel. I'm not. I Listen, I'm waiting also, on them to actually I, leave with their grandma so that I can still go and live a life. Mm-hmm. So you go run around and, and be and be part time from the streets. huh? OK, so <laughs> <laughs> about to be back for the streets, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Yo, it's funny, though, because like I, what I was saying is, is that. um yeah, I'm sorry that everybody has sick is crazy because I'm in the exact situation right now as well. That's why we doing, the, hence the Zoom, you dig what I'm saying? Because normally we'd all been in the studio. And I ain't mad, though. I'm glad we got a curve box. We need to do something different. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. I like I like, I like, like giving different forms of content. You know what I'm saying? So the more that we can help give the people what they want, they want to hear that shit. And plus, we, we've been off for like two weeks, you know? We've been off for like yeah. two weeks. It's, it's like we overdue. Like, we need... I needed to get back into that consistency because the the numbers you could tell people miss us put it that way because the numbers will go down when uh, we don't I drop know. consistently. So I'm that's sorry, not a bad thing, it's, but that's not a bad thing. It's just it's just like science. Like the numbers go down because whoever's keeping up with us already didn't listen to all our other shit. So they they live off the next you know new episode. If like, they have. Yes, I have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta throw that in there one time. You know what I'm saying? I'm like over here trying to find other podcasts to listen to in the meantime because I'm pretty caught up like on all of them. And I don't know what kind it's of. It's boring like, without them. It really yeah. is. Especially yeah. now, I realized I was uh, too behind. Um, and I being stuck in the house, I've listened to now. I've listened to all of them. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. you're caught up. So now what? Yeah. yeah, now exactly. I'm like, okay, now what? But <laughs> it is sometimes fun to go back to the ones where I know we was talking that talk because yeah. I'd be like, oh my god, it's still yeah. hilarious. Yeah, this shit, this shit ages really well. I, and I recommend anybody that's been rocking with us that just started and haven't hasn't listened to prior episodes. Uh, if you like this podcast enough to listen to it, you should go back and listen to some uh, to all our shit because. We've had some funny ass moments on this motherfucker. And um, to be real with you, I think that it's getting better as we go along because there's just more, just more shit to talk about. You know what I mean? We're all fucked up you a little bit in this me. motherfucker. So I, why not share what's wrong with me with you and the rest of the people? And that way, you know, they know that it's all right that something's wrong with your ass too. So, you know what I'm saying? So we're all a little fucked we're up. We're just saying it out loud. Exactly. You know, I, I'm not H1, judging H1. you. Don't judge me. Aster, what's up, man? What's your what's what's your life been like? What, what's what's been going on with you since the last time you've been on the on the podcast? This right here, I had a vendor event yesterday, and so that's right. Whenever I do that, that always consumes my life. But now that it's over, I can <laughs> fucking breathe. And like um, the next one, we're not going to do until October. So Jesus that Christ. makes me um, pretty happy. That makes why? Because me- it's so hot, or what? Yeah, doesn't nobody want to be out there? It's fucking miserable. Yeah. It was like. I mean- Damn, you're 104 degrees yesterday. That should be illegal. Oh my god! 
Yeah, we got to start. We got to start capitalizing on these outdoor events when it's not that hot or like towards the end of the summer where it's the last days of the shit. You know what I mean? Towards fall. Yeah, this was supposed to be like some like kind of like summer kickoff event. And it was like it was that we busted out like the pool and got wet a <coughs> bit like with the kids or whatever. And it was a lot of fun. But um, man, I'm looking forward to just being able to like being creative. And um, I got to link up with some dude that I met off of. Uh, not just some dude, excuse me, but uh, <laughs> like another tie dye artist off mm-hmm. of um, Instagram. And he came over and um, we tied up some shit and he showed me how to do some things. And I'm like forever dope. grateful for that. It was it was really awesome. That's dope. That's what it's all about. It's about uh, getting with, excuse me. Ah, damn. Uh, it's about getting <laughs> with uh, like-minded people. You know what I mean? Uh, that do what you do. It's the reason why Anne goes and does her, um, her, you know, her her events. And she goes to trip. other people's vi- events, the Columbia trip, stuff like that. Getting with like minded people and your and that's doing what you're doing that has the passion for what you're doing, because um, I, I feel like that's a part of your growth. Yeah. You know, when 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 you're on a journey of of whatever it is, whether you're just being artistic or if you're um, actually in a line of business where you're being artistic, but you're also all in on the business and like ants out here taking motherfucking trips to Colombia and, and, and doing, you know, hood rat. Wait, things don't forget Africa. Don't forget Africa. September. I'll be in Africa. September. Okay. She's going to be in Africa. That, that you, you know, that that's big to me. You know what I mean? That's, that's really I, when, I, when I, when I hear stuff like that, I'm like, yo, that shit gets me inspired because it's like, you know, at, at one point or another, I want to be able to take my, my travels and my, what I'm doing on the road as well like that. And I've had before, but I mean, I've been in state, you know what I mean? She's talking about other countries. She's talking about, I'm you know I'm saying? What I mean? We should do Big. a world tour. That's the plan. We should plan now for having something set up for hitting different continents and I mean we know that we're this is going to be like super epic and super big so definitely like we need to start hitting up places interviewing people while they out there like I'm with all the shenanigans and I've been working on it you definitely got to build a following out there when you go out there and you start talking to people make sure that you refer them to the podcast make sure you let them know that this what the fuck you do you know, because that, absolutely that's, besides the your brands already that you already taking with you and you pushing, you know what I mean? This is one of them. Yeah. And um, it, I would love to get more, just more, just the pot into more people's ears. You know what I mean? It's it's um, it's doing very well all over the world, actually. But I always would like to, you know, we got to we got to ramp it up. Y'all let's keep it real. We're not in this doing this shit just because uh, we want to conversate. We can have these personal conversations whenever, you know what I mean? This is the fact of the matter is, is that I did this because I want to educate people because I want to help spread uh, uh, information to, with other people. But also at the same time, I want to do something that I like to do and I love to do and get paid for it. So exactly. I ain't going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, is that I want to give the people the best possible experience, the best possible um uh, everything that if when they come to the podcast, that's why I've been. I know you guys. We've been talking personally and privately and stuff like that. And I will put it out there already before on the podcast. But you know, uh, I, I'm feeling like it's going to be almost time for me to step back from the podcast and, and take upon a more um, producer role. You know, instead of the forefront and talking and and whatnot. I know everyone that I've told that so far is like an unpopular opinion. I see Anne gang banging on me over there. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, is, it is an unpopular opinion, but it, I, I still want to be a part of the podcast and help produce and help, you know, get the get the talent that's going to be on the mic, get them, you know, get them the right topics, the right information, the right, put them in the right uh, situations to continue the the brand, you know, but until that happens, of course, I'm, I'm not going to leave my post until I know that it's in, in good hands and good order. And that's part of why Anne came on board. And part of the reason why uh, we're building the team with you and everybody else is because we need, in order to get the best possible product, I feel like, and to do do what our goals are, are is to have people, a part of the team that are going to have the same kind of vision and are aspiring for the same things, you know, maybe not now or maybe later, or maybe this is what it is, but I want, um, you just got to have a team nowadays, period. 
You know what I mean? You can do a lot of stuff on your own and you could do very well on your own. That's not a problem. But eventually you're going to need to be aligned with people that do things really well at a high level. That maybe I think it depends you on your vision, do. right? Like if your vision is big, then you're going to need a team to to do that. Like my vision for my tie dye right now is like so small. So I feel like yeah. it's not really team worthy, but maybe one day. Hell yeah. Right. Like it'd be great to have people helping me out with, you know, tasks here and there or whatever, like. Like how you said, and then just kind of like not even just like, sip, I don't know, I get you that I see like the bigger picture. Of course. And I feel like no matter whether you plan on it or not, I mean, it, it's really just what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish. Right. You know, and it's trying to take her business to new heights. So she's going out there and getting in, in the front of, of a lot of stuff. Um, you know, I know people that have their businesses and they're happy with it just being what it is right now. And that's great because at the end of the day, if you don't got the passion for what the fuck you're doing, then, and, and, then, then you shouldn't be doing it. You know, and if you're, you're, that's not where your passion lies, your passion lies in the art and more of just doing it and, and, and creating, then, you know, the business aspect or going to a certain extent, it probably ain't what you're, what you're feeling. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's all about, like you said, it's perspective. What do you want for it? For me, for what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to build for this podcast, I want it to be. Uh, something that the people on it could benefit from as far as pay, notoriety, help bring awareness and attention to their individual brands and what they're doing, as well as help generate income for um, <clears throat> rebirth films, generate income for the pod so that we could have better equipment, better facilities and everything else that, excuse me, we going to need and um, just try to level up. I'm all about the level up, you know, whatever's yeah. best. Yeah. And I am all about, listen, the vision. I personally believe that there's no limits to visions, right? So even when you say, like, your tie-dye, you see it really small right now, you probably have, like, a bigger vision, but you're focusing on the immediate need of where it is right now. I'm, um, I think, like, I know, it's not even I think, I know, like, we gonna be doing, like, interviews at Cancun Jump Off. We gonna be doing interviews at like and at speak like life. All these different places. It's gonna be super lit. Like I'm telling you, in um I do intend on getting so I know when I went to Colombia I wasn't able to get as much content as I wanted because it was kind of like a work thing. Yeah. But like when I go to Kenya, I want to do one specifically in Kenya because I'm going with mm -hmm. this group called Mocha Fest. It's all turn up, lit, drunk, pussy popping, dick slanging. Everybody go have them zaddy, them zaddy pants on. What's them called? Jesus them zaddy Christ. shorts? Hey, like well, that. I got them daddy shorts. I, 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 believe, <laughs> okay. I believe what you refer to is the hoochie thing, the hoochie thing that is going on the internet. Mm, oh, yeah. Like it, the, 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 like a, a man a hoochie, team, right? Yeah, the man oh. hoochie shorts. The male I'm hoochie shorts. I it. But no, yeah, no, no, no. so I, I like when I <laughs> that's too see much. This, that's doing too much. I see all of that. I see I, I, yeah, I like merch. I see <laughs> yeah. international trips. Yeah. I see conferences. I see interviews. Um, I know since I've been back from Colombia, I feel like I've kind of been out of whack. Like the first week, I just could not get it together. My whole life was just like I need some sleep. I was tired. I shouldn't have went to, back to work the next day. It was hard. Um, yeah, and since then, I feel like. Yeah, that was, man, listen, when I tell you, I had to tell them, like, listen, I'm physically here. Have no expectations for me, please. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not going to happen. Yes, I'm here, I'm but, here, I'm, but not I'm not present. Um, but definitely, like, I feel like when I think about this podcast, when I think about this group, I don't feel like there are limits. Like, this is going to go in so many different directions that mm -hmm. everybody going to have to make sure that they strip, put their boots on, put their big girl panties on, you know, big man draws, because you yeah. do. Yeah, so it's different. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's about I'm to like, be I don't like epic. <laughs> I go commando, by the way. So. Right? <laughs> so you mean like just putting say, on my pants, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I do feel like this the has no my pants. limits. Listen, this has absolutely no limits. I've been places and had people ask me about it. Um, I found me out too. I've had people listening that I didn't even know was listening. I'm like, you listen a little on me? Okay. Aww. So yeah. I'm juiced. I can't wait to see where this is going to go. And I'm just excited to actually have the opportunity to be a part of it. 
Um, I'm very thankful for you guys helping me out and help and being a part of this because really it's like, like I said, I could go on a rant by myself, but I don't even want to hear that shit. So like, I know people don't want to hear that shit. You might think they do and people might tell me to do with me personally. I don't want to hear that shit. So uh, to me, like I said, I want to give people a, a healthy distraction. You know what I'm saying? Get in here, get some conversation. We'll talk about anything. Nothing's off limits, but we like to keep it on the up and up so that we could uh, give people inspiration more than anything. And I feel like, you know, get people pumped up. And, and, and speaking of inspiration, right? So last week, I forgot, you know, last week I was kicking my tails about um you know when the first time the first time i tried acid and shit right Mm -hmm. and um you know i got a lot of feedback from it and um let's just say it wasn't the the greatest feedback you know people were people were judging me you know i'm saying in my dms and shit yeah it's and you know what it's like I mean, like I told you guys on the on the podcast, is like, yo, I had a, I was wild, I was wild for that shit because you know what, I couldn't imagine right now, like you know, my present situation and and everything. So you know, what I mean, I, that's that was the past, you know, and it's my truth. So at the end of the day, it's like I don't give a fuck. It's done. It's old. Hey, people suck yeah. though. Like, what the fuck? Like, why are I they mean, even? <laughs> it wasn't even well, bad. It wasn't I bad feel like was just there was a saying that I just recently heard where there's a difference between people really being concerned and people minding your business and i think depending <laughs> on what they were saying they yeah. could have been concerned like hey you okay. know just hope that you're not doing that no more but people who just have like a negative opinion is like ma'am or sir why are you minding my business like yeah. in your whole goddamn day you ain't got shit to do you can't focus on nothing else but what the fuck i'm doing that's, like that's I appreciate it that. though, because that means you was listening. Mm-hmm. Appreciate mm-hmm. the numbers. Yeah, but you got me <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. Nobody, listen. Anybody trying to judge you for your past, you could tell them to go fuck off. Oh, I know, and, and this is this is people I know. So like, the, it, it was judgment, but it was it was funny. Like I'm like, yeah, come on now. Like like you guys know already. You guys are from that era too. So let's not. The, the difference is, I think it was is that uh, when when folks that know that they were making big, stupid, fucking dumb mistakes when they were kids. And then, like, they try to say something now. They're like, why are you going to put that out there for? What about I was like, I put it out there because it's the truth and it's awareness, yeah. you feel me? And for people to uh, to know that maybe, you know, you, you should check on your kid mom. Okay. No, for real. Because okay. did you see, I posted an article about how these people at school, it really, like, personally pissed me off. Because um, I think I've told everybody, I have a son who's autistic. Mm-hmm. And there was these people at a school, teachers, that were giving, that were selling fentanyl and something else to the students in a special needs class. And naturally, if their parents are not um, properly teaching them, like I teach my kids, I don't care that they're your teacher. They're still a stranger. We don't know them. Yeah. So beyond yeah. them This is you this the only lesson, thing they're supposed to be able to do, and that's it. Nothing else. Like... Yeah. yeah, beyond teaching you something, reading, writing, arithmetic, we don't give a fuck about what they talking about. Um, so, yeah, that like it, it's in it's instances like that where it's like, man, you really can't trust nobody. You should like check in with your kids, talk to your kids, all that. Like, my kids never gonna have sex until they're married. It's like, you know, I think that's so, that I think that's already, the problem, right? though. To be honest with you, that that's the problem when people are too harsh and they're not willing to listen to their kids and stuff like that. They're just like, this is what it is. And that's it. No matter what. And they don't really speak to him. Cause it's all about communication. I feel like yeah. honestly, communication is big. I've talked to my son, my son's, you know I mean? About to be 20. Um, I know he doesn't tell me everything, but at the same time, I know that he listens when I tell him shit and he hears me. And at the end of the day, I mean, what more can you ask for? They hear you out. At least some people just are like, won't even do that. And that's all you really can do, you know, be there for them, you know, hear them out, you know, be cautious, obviously. But, um, yeah, I mean, try to, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I think that's important. But I ain't gonna lie. I tell everybody, listen, I was raised as a Jehovah Witness. And my mama downstairs, I'm not trying to, like, downplay my mama. But she cool or whatever. But... <laughs> <laughs> them, them ones when they be like you know what you have to throw God into everything and all that I'm telling you 
those girls is popping that pussy, popping pills, Worse. doing whatever. Hey. Because, <laughs> because you're isolating them. Like, when it, when yeah. it comes to what drugs. What is that what happened? <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Like, I didn't, when it came to drugs, I didn't try. I wasn't never big on trying drugs because I got too many crackheads in my family. So that's my logic. Like, I don't want to do yeah. it because You've of been close XYZ. enough to see it and been like, yo, I'm good off this. Like, yeah, like, you know, I'm telling you, when I tell people. Ones? I don't. So the first time I, I I ever had an ecstasy pill, my cousin. You knew what I was talking about, though. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't. But it didn't have like a fun effect. It Aww. didn't have a fun effect because my cousin slipped it to me. So I was, oh, I no, didn't know I took out. it. So I was like hyperventilating and like, yeah, oh my was, God, we need to call the what's ambulance. Wrong with Something me? is wrong. Yeah. Yes, it and was it's like, like, why do I feel so good? I ended up raping a guy that <laughs> night too. It was oh, so bad. Pill? I, I raped a guy that night. And I don't think <laughs> not like <laughs> not like for the record, it Anne has a very different uh what's it called? Uh, <laughs> vocabulary idea, vocabulary on what she means by that. You know what I'm saying? I, I just mean up. well let me <laughs> let me rephrase. I don't mean rape like I took it and he wasn't with it. I mean yeah. I was just you was you significantly dominant, more yes, I was significantly more like dominant and aggressive than i've ever and, been and in my was, life and he was Ooh. definitely with it so like you said, no he so was with it not granted yeah. he was with it and i felt so bad because i saw him at the mall like two weeks <laughs> later and he was like what's up and i'm like do i know you i knew who he was but no i don't know you that was like, like, no you don't know me but you know my dick so yeah, yeah. Well, sure you i'm see, like you that moment you know don't count dick. that was my twin sister <laughs> don't talk to me i don't know you, you know my dick but like but yeah so i just Last name, John. I, I've never done that, but I will say, when you, like, hold the reins on your child so tight, they gonna do something. So, like, yeah, I was, I ended up moving out at 15. I ended up, like, I, my boyfriend was, like, I think he was 25 when I was 18. So, and me and him had already been dating. I started dating him when I was 15. So, he was already, like, grown and everything. Um, so, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was. Just listen. Talk to your kids because they will tell you. Like when they get to asking questions, please listen because they're not asking for no reason. Yeah. And if you don't tell me, I feel like the only thing they did was teach me how to be better at being sneaky. That's it. Yeah. That's all I got out of it. Like I'm yeah. really good at when like you feel like you gotta hide do. shit. Then you don't you don't have the confidence to come when something happens or something's wrong. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that, that's that's what. And I then I'm getting sure. advice from girls my age. How dumb is that? I'm me 15 Bro, is getting we advice all, from 15 year old. We're we're all we all thought we were so fucking smart back then. Thinking about so it, I was grown, like, we're the dumbest right? fucking kids ever. And it wasn't <laughs> like it was done by choice because we because you know what I mean. The we, we had people that were cool in our lives, you know what I'm saying. But for some reason, you know, we chose bullshit sometimes. So I, I mean, you know, live and learn. Yeah. We alive, right? You know what I'm saying. But did you die Big though? Facts. Did you die? Facts. And I ain't gonna lie, a lot back then I used to choose violence. Yeah, <laughs> that everybody, was, uh, that's what I'm don't saying. surprise me. No, I'm I'm surprised anyone in the, We're gonna take a poll and find out how many people in the audience that surprised How many people are surprised? And, uh, <laughs> we're gonna get back to you on that. You know what I mean? We're gonna, it's the normal about podcasts. We're moving and grooving like we always do. Um, <clears throat> yes, it's just been one of those weeks. I just did a, a, a podcast with uh, Primo from Primetime. He manages artists like San Quinn. He's, Got his own late his own brand. He got his own. His, he's doing a lot of different things. He's been down with GT G- Digital for a while. So um, that interview was really dope. Now that we got Zoom and we're gonna do it like this now. Now I'm gonna want you guys to come in on these interviews with these artists, and um, that way we could get more in depth. I don't know if I could be professional like that. I feel like those interviews are very professional, and I just bring a whole lot of bullshit to the table. Well, it's okay. Really? Keeping you, it real. Yeah, well, because well, well, you got to think of it like this. When we talk about shit, we're talking about stuff. So, I mean, if at some point something pertains to some bullshit, you know, I mean. I'll be all over it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, look, me and me and Ann, we, we we already interviewed somebody before and Ann had a lot of dope questions. And to be honest with you, if, if I'm finna leave, somebody got to learn how to fucking talk to these artists, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's just how, that's just flat out how it goes because this podcast will and for always ever will be uh, a place for the artists. You know what I mean? (laughs) 
No, it's not. See, the thing is, it's not not that I I, I never plan to be on it, first of all, because we already talked about that. But also, I got a lot of shit going on right now. You know, I'm I'm, I'm writing scripts for for shows and movies. And I hooked up with a, a, a really dope team that's just all about pushing that right now. So, you know, I'm dealing with actors. I'm doing scheduling. I'm mm-hmm. I'm doing uh, what do you call that? Um, auditions, setting up auditions for these roles, for these for these things, this content we're putting out. So. I, I, you know, I don't want anything that I'm doing to suffer. So I need as much help as I can, you know, but at the same time, I'm going to keep holding on and doing what the fuck I got to do until we get the right combo. Like I said, I know we got Ann and, and, and S you're a reoccurring person. And, and I don't know when the fuck we're going to see Patty, but when she comes back, I'm sure she'll have tall tales of, of heroism <laughs> and, 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 and the defeat of another global threat. Did she tell you, know? you I saw her? Nah, she, I haven't talked to her that much. You know, she's uh, she's a I myth. You know what I'm saying? Just like that, she's gone. No, and when I saw her, it was <laughs> it was at Walmart. You seen I was you, like, she oh was my like, god, <laughs> you shop? <laughs> you know, when she saw me, I was like, oh my god, you shop here? I don't and, know and, why. In my head, she has like a personal shopper, Esther had, so I don't expect her. Esther has special powers too, because you look at her; she just turned invisible right now. Okay, she's back. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. I had to grab another. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I heard you though. I was able to grab the headset on. You were at Walmart, right? So how did she? So how did she react when you seen her? Did she run from you? No. She no. gets offensive. We actually sat <laughs> and talked. She's like, right you're exposing my cover. She was with her other family. <laughs> no, she went by herself. But when I did see her, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh my god. You know, I really, honestly. Don't expect you to shop for yourself. Like I expect you to have like, <laughs> you know, a personal shopper. Like you, she's undercover boss. Chances are she was like some way uh, ownership of that, of, of a brand <laughs> in there. And she was watching how people buy, you know what I mean? Trying to see how her workers do. You know what I mean? We don't. Know, you know what I, mean? I don't judge her because I don't know what life she's living and how she's going to live it. So, you know, if I see her down the street and she's with a whole nother family and acting like she don't know me, I'm going to just keep it pushing. Like, all right, oh you know my God, you're I see how it is. I don't, I'm not going to blow your cover, Patty. Just know you're my friend forever, though. And this this is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it hurts. You know yeah. your place. It's really kind. She, That's really kind she, of you. She, 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 <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not here to blow up spot. You know what I mean? I do sorry, feel like Patty, Patty needs to come back. She will she one needs day. to have a day. Like, no, no. I mean, like, we need to before hot girl summer is over i need to see patty on the podcast you know what's crazy is that when we started off the summer we're like it was Ann that was for the streets but so far the only person that's (laughs) in the streets is patty like you know what i'm saying so uh, shout out to patty but look she's been on her ground i'm about to be for the streets though let's be clear (laughs) i'm telling y'all i'm about to um i have some stuff coming up i'm about to be back on this whole workout thing. So if anybody want to, you know, jump in on the working out with me and getting your body right, tight, titties up, ass out, you know, muscles, yeah. tap crazy. in because that sounds like my whole, whole job right is. I, it could be though. I really could write something. Just, you just write give me, that. give me a beat. Down t- all that. You should write that. You said that's titties song. up. You had my attention. I yeah, I mean, like, you said that. I was already like. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I was listening like, like what else i'm trying to picture that too like what you talking about that's that's what songs do right they they, they spark Listen. your imagination you know mm-hmm. what i mean they grab your because attention i'm telling you i'm ready i i've i have been off my game mm-hmm. as far as the whole health shit but you know the business with esthetician body sculpting is all about health and wellness anyway so i'm gonna be back on that shit and i'm about to be like listening i want us to really be like i want to record outside I want to well, record well, somewhere ready, outside. Now by that you're beach. back, I'm ready. We could we could schedule. We're supposed to do the photo shoot and all that shit too. So you know, oh, we yeah. gotta do Ooh, we gotta do a lot of shit. Time? We gotta we gotta gear up a lot of shit for season three. You know, season three is coming, and um, like I said, hopefully, my my hopes are that season three will have a new host, and I'll be producing the podcast, and then we'll still have the same dynamic. You know what I mean, Patty, Esther. Y'all swinging around, doing what y'all doing, you know, because I don't so want to... So all jokes aside, I, I really do feel like even even though I'm going to miss you and I hope you still pop in every so often, I, I'm really happy that you are, like, in a space where you're ready to transition. Like, that's dope as fuck. That really is. That shows, yeah. like, you started this, like, in the incubator. Like, you was the person who bust the nut and made this happen, right? Uh, yeah, and then it... <laughs> 
And then You're it right. went from uh, that since to you like. Put it that way. Yeah. And oh, did we just maybe. take that nut or what? <laughs> <laughs> The record, it, it was willing, so <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't no, I don't, I don't want to no. let me find out about Ann Kelly later on in the newspaper and shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, no, nah, I know. What no, you but mean, I do though. think it's super dope. Like the fact that you've been consistent with so many and edit for so many years with everything else you do and now ready to like upgrade from this position to more of an executive producer position. That that shit is dope. I just, I, I'm just happy to be able to witness it, like witness the progression. I appreciate it. And yes, this, it has been, that's, that's kind of been the theme of this thing is the progression. And um, it's really just the, I, when I name the themes for the seasons, it's just because what I vision for uh, the, the up and coming, the up and coming season, you know, what's my vision for the season. Okay. We, we did the, uh, the relaunch we did, you know what I mean? Uh, everything else, you know what I'm saying? um so now it's time to level up so now it's like you know what else are we doing and um hopefully we could what what i what i what i'm thinking is that i make sure that i'm still going to be here present on the days that we do this stuff i'm just going to take more of an executive role and not be the one speaking so much i will probably be here and there on the episode you know but uh my hopes is for uh to me to give this platform and give somebody else an opportunity to get on here and carry it and and see what happens you know we just and it's all about um make sure right it's not somebody who's annoying well she see said. that's the thing that like i can't <laughs> i can't do it without you though like that's the thing you're gonna have to we're gonna have to bring them on here and who and because i want it has to be a male presence you feel what i'm saying i just feel like yes. we need that balance you know what i'm saying so that for the um for the perspective you know what i mean so well um, i say for the male presence find somebody very similar to you uh, don't let you know them be like, like a me though. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I mean, but they could get close right though. We uh-huh. could get close. Said, they could get, get close. They could get closer than close. But the, you know what I'm saying? But I, they I, can't I be know. irritating. They can't be sensitive. I like no. some of these men, I'd be like, sir, you take everything personal and way too sensitive. I need you to stop. That's like I think I have mean. a list in my head of all the things that that like, and I have no problem being like, sir. I'm about to go tell because you're not it. <laughs> hey, but, well, look, look, the way I see it, to be honest with you, the way I see it is that whoever it is that I have for a candidate, they're going to have to come on the show and they're going to have to do a podcast where we all are on it, all four of us or all five, whoever's there, you know what I mean? And um, we get the vibe, you know? And then after that, we we turn around and we got to talk to producer Hey, Patty. that song's a hit though, for sure. I feel like I'm an sorry. old lady. No, I feel like an old lady. I don't really know the songs that well. And mm-hmm. um, I heard that song and I was like, oh, damn, it's a vibe for sure. Right. And I'm like jamming out. And then my husband, he hears me listening to it. And he's like, how do you know this song? Like, you know, and I was just like, really? Like, it's that new. Like, I don't know if it's that new of a song. Anywho, mm-hmm. dang not- that song. Yeah, that's a, it's definitely a vibe. And that's that's exactly what we're trying to catch here. So and and so, you know what I mean? It's it's, it's the what's it called? It, that, I mean, like I said, y'all gotta y'all gotta let me know. You know what I mean? It, it's I'll probably even do polls on, on Instagram and let the people try to help. You know, uh, pick them out. Yes. I just want somebody that's gonna bring uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of that, um, that, that. that that perspective. You know, I don't want nobody that's gonna. Well, I, to be honest with you, I don't care what they're like as long as you guys are cool with it. You know what I mean? You you and gotta basically you and Patty gotta give me the okay and let me know. You know what I'm saying? Like yo. Yes or no with this person, you know what I'm saying? And then and then obviously he has to mesh well with Esther too because Esther's a team member. So Esther gotta be like, yo, I don't know about this person. I don't know. You know, seriously, yes no if too, you, you know can't I mean? get along with Esther, you're probably a horrible person. <laughs> like he might just, that one, that he might just know that one button that he likes to back. Push. Like <laughs> you know I mean? no, I'm for real. Like Esther's <laughs> personality is very like going with her porn sex voice and shit so she's chill that, that's what i'm saying like, that's what i'm saying so that. if you can't get along with esther then it's very likely you're just a horrible person i, I was just literally have to accept the fact like, that you're a horrible person like i can't think of anybody that i like really don't that, that i wouldn't get along with you know like how you like how martina was like oh maybe you know not maybe but like you know esther would you know have to be and i'm like i get along with everybody thinking in my head yeah. like <laughs> yeah I see mean, esther she's a person she get along with everybody now me on the other hand 
It's, it's a process. Yeah. <laughs> she said it's you, a have, process. It's a, you have to submit an application. It's an acquired that, you know? taste, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I need three references. I need three personal and three professional references to let me know. Like, do I want to go in this direction? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and definitely, <laughs> and definitely has a process. You got to get screened like TSA. You know, what I mean? it ain't just, it ain't just walk up and it's all, it's all good. You feel what I'm saying? But um, no, nah, I feel it. And 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 at the end, that's all that's a matter. Like, and we're gonna change the subject. So we're not gonna talk about that too much because when it happens, it's gonna happen. And the people are just gonna know. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm gonna be here present in some form or fashion, and and I will be executive producing everything. So it, it's gonna have my touch on it. You know what I mean? Y'all ain't gotta worry about. It. We're not gonna have nobody looking crazy or anything like that. And we're going to try to make sure that we give people the same thing that we've been doing this whole time. You know, some original content, relatable, funny jokes, laughs. Uh, like I said, a healthy distraction from all the bullshit. Because y'all know, like I know, there's a bunch of bullshit right now out there. And it's always something to, <gasps> or something to try to make you feel bad or whatever. Go ahead, Ann. I already know. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. My favorite ask, listen, I feel like we should have a gender reveal episode. It wouldn't be a gender reveal, but something like we're actually revealing whoever this person may be. I know it's not even in the works right uh, now, but some type was of like tell me she was a dude. I was gonna be like, damn, Ann, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yeah. I used to like, like, who the very mad, like real, gender reveal. real name's what? Anthony. <laughs> yeah. I just about very, very masculine energy, but no, <laughs> nah, I'm all that's woman. That's not it. It's just like, <laughs> like, yeah. It's but no, like, like I know the word know. gender reveal isn't the appropriate word, but some <laughs> form of like, like uh, Announcement, a coming like out a, party. Yeah. And it like. needs to be big and epic. Have them walk like down the runway or something. I don't know. You know, it's no, just my brain yeah, you, started thinking. You see how Anne's already whoring out the fucking the the, the next guy already. Or, or Anne female, love Anne's vision, bro. Yeah. That, that, that it's vision like you gotta walk down the runway if you want to be down with this shit. Like, okay, you know? show us what you got, motherfucker. Strut <laughs> <Yeah>. your shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some people yeah. like that shit though. The other day, I was that talking was to my very friend. Very dominating of you, Anne. I, I want, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I want to get on the record right now because I thought about this not too long ago, and a motherfucker can't steal it because it's not to be used already. You know, patent pending and all that good shit, right? Um, but um, you know how they have the Waz and they have different voices for your GPS. Uh-huh. I was like, yo, I was like, yo, I, a lot, and I thought about this like fucking probably like seven years ago. I was like, you know, it'd be fly. I was like, if they had like a sarcastic voice. <laughs> like turn right here, dumbass, or so you know. What I mean? <laughs> or like, or like, you know, motherfuckers that like to get, oh uh, they like to get belittled and shit. You know what I'm saying? To have like a dominatrix female voice just talking. Turn around, you fucking idiot! <laughs> like, what are you? I'm telling you, I said, get off the goddamn freeway. That's Esther's <laughs> voice, the freeway, though. You fucking scumbag. Honestly, I, I'll fucking record it. I'll sign up right now. Like, <laughs> hey, she'll be one of the voices. Esther got the voice too. It should be like, yeah. Turn left, you <laughs> fucking dick face. Any more, any more that I say is gonna have to be paid for. So I'm not gonna. I got you. Good. You yeah. sign but I'm very curious. Anyway, so can you we'll, do we'll it? You can, you, can you say that one? Which like, one? Put, um, say, uh, make a U turn, dickhead. No, but yes, say it in your sexy please voice. Make a U turn. <laughs> no, but I want to hear. Yes, I want to okay, hear. Want it want me in the character and all that, Anne? Yes, yes. Okay, see yes. if I can pull it off. I, I have to be able to, right? Okay, let's see. I'm not going to do the YouTube and I'm just going to do whatever comes to my mind. Okay. You guys that's don't fine. look at me. <laughs> that's, that's pretty hard to do, but okay. I was like, that's hard to do when we on camera. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I mean, they got to look at something. something. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to be like, I said, get off the fucking freeway right now. Did you hear me? I said, get off the fucking freeway. You stupid ass little slut. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. You guys like that. Oh. Uh, actually, I want you to have the stupid, deadpan just no emotion get off the freeway you stupid <laughs> like to me that to yeah, me that's that hits harder right now for that that, but... that hits harder i feel like you know what i'm saying you're like yo this shit like it's nothing for me to talk give to us an way. example then sir would you i, I don't know I, I don't think i could do it <laughs> that's what i'm saying I, I i really pictured it like a female like you know what i mean just talking shit like that yeah but that's what about my pattern that i'm gonna make all right but what if we want to hear it from a man? Like, then, I want a man yeah. to be telling me what the fuck to do. Exactly. Then, then, then that would go something like. Mm, My theory is see. a man. Like, um, like turn left, you big head bitch. 
<laughs> See, there's gonna be some girl that's gonna be like, "Oh my god, my pussy just got wet." Hey, and what's hella funny is that it's like, yo, that's uh, every everything that he does reminds me of him. <laughs> <laughs> Turn left, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you sexy ass idiot. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't think I could. I don't think I could not laugh if if they try to get me to record this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're you like, yo, we, we need you to do the voice and we need you to read these lines. I don't think I could keep a straight fucking face. Well, aren't you an me. actor though, too? Like, aren't I you am. in, like, behind the, like, the I left? take this shit <laughs> seriously, too. Huh? <laughs> I feel like that's just what it is. It's just acting. It is. It is acting. I mean, I, I probably could do it. You know what I mean? It's just. Uh, Ain't no probably. To, don't say it like yeah, that. No, you, you definitely could for sure. It. it would well, just, just be remember, like a state of mind. I'm gonna, need you know? all, I'm, I'm gonna need all y'all to come do the voiceovers. You know, I need y'all best Listen. belittling. You, you're a piece of shit voice. Disgusted with this person. You know what I mean? Because that's kind of our niche. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you know, that's the. I want your sarcastic fucking hate you attitude voice like you scum like that's kind of what we're going for you know people like that shit you know what i mean so <laughs> really so does. just know when my gps comes out is you know it ain't gonna be wise it's gonna be why you know what i'm saying because you're taking that abuse make sense? <laughs> <laughs> do it make sense i don't know you know what i mean <laughs> that makes sense, and though. look and has a superpower too she turns into a zoom user uh square Miles, <laughs> there, hold on wait hold on you over here checking we're gonna have to get some shit. zoom no, etiquette listen, going on y'all don't realize i'm here. over here even though they not coming to the door they still texting me like i'm not recording yeah. i'm like, you gotta like put them on can you i taste some wine yeah they just hit me like so can I taste some wine when you're done recording? Can I open the rum that you got from Colombia? I'm like, oh Man. my god, my house is full of alcoholics. Oh shit, that's full of alcoholics. I didn't, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, you gonna have to bring some of that rum though next time though from Colombia. Oh, right see, listen, I promise you, the intent was to bring it, and I gotta bring it because I keep like, you know how you can one shot something to death. Oh, I was like, this is really good. Oh. I'll have a drink. No, feel it's banana infused, one. and it's so good. I'm telling you, when I tell you, it is so good. Six shots good. later, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I was so like, I knew. wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those ones where it's like, listen, I'm not trying to be rude, but here's a shot because that's all we getting because it's yeah. so smooth. You have anything from this side of the table? Yeah, yes. but yeah. this you cannot have. And then I brought some um, tequila. I don't know. The tequila kind of tastes like this is not the first drink from there that I've had, but a lot of the drinks in Colombia taste like black licorice to me. Mm. I don't know why. I don't know Do if it's like because I didn't. Normally? Ew, no. I don't know. I don't either. I don't know why. Nobody I'm does. Just, nobody does. I've never somebody met does because they're just no. not, unless it's like no. a fucking front for something else, you know, like a bodega or something. Because <laughs> there's no way, there's no way that they're still selling this shit and even producing it if nobody fucking likes it. Hey, everybody some, who liked it is people that like black licorice are serial killers. That's that's how I look people at it. People who like <laughs> black licorice is in love with eating ass. Yeah, that's, that's the not, only I, person I, I could vouch for that. No, you know I'm, I'm serious. The only person, well, I'm saying in my experience, the only person I've ever met that loves black licorice, he, he also eat loved too. eating ass. He was like all for this like, this tastes like black licorice. Interesting. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, Ew. like he the his taste buds just would be off. He liked brown showers. He was just like it did he not brown bother him. Showers, anything. yes. What's a brown shower? You know where you shit on somebody. No. You ain't never did that before? No. Oh, yeah. A brown shower is a thing. I draw lines. Like, there's two Christ, things. Like, I'm, I'm oh. a very easy I knew person. That's I, like what, I knew that's what you were trying to say, but I was like, nah, it might be something else. I don't want to be. You know. I don't want to think that. I don't want to have the worst kind of mind where I'm just like, yo, I know she's. A yeah. brown shower. So you know how you have your that, golden that shower where you of like number somebody? three or number four. <laughs> like, so you know how you get some men that like <laughs> the golden shower, they like you to pee on them, right? Okay. You also have brown showers where they like you to poop on them, but they want you to be um, this specific person. He wants it to be um, a little bit like runny. He don't want logs hitting on him. He wants it to be like 
runny a little bit. So you got to like take a laxative in order for you to like do it in a manner that he like. He's like, yes, cleanse your intestine on me, please. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he That's is. fucking terrible. I, I, <laughs> my thing is, is like, look, if a girl asks me to Esther shit on her. Esther looks like she's getting sick. <laughs> hey, if a girl asks me to shit on her, I probably would. And then I'd never fucking talk to her again. <laughs> like, I can't. Don't, don't ever hit me up with that bullshit. Like, I'll be shaming her, but really, I would shit on her, too. So it's like, I'm, I'm the one for the shame, too. But I put that shit on her like, don't ever fucking call me again, you fucking scum. How dare you ask me to do it now? But I still People are out here shitting on each other. <laughs> let's be let's be clear. He couldn't yeah, shit on me. Fuck. Let's make sure that part wait. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. You were the shit shit eat shitter, I was, not the shitty. Yes, I was hey, the shitter, said, not the shitty. You said shit I ain't gay. Yeah, you yeah, gave yeah. a sucking my dick. <laughs> yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, like I oh but some God. people are like into little stuff like that, dude. I'm telling you, over the course of my life, I have experienced. Hey, girl, I thought I did some kinky shit people. in my life. Let me tell you. He's all. Let me so show why you this. Did you just take the fucking award? He's all. Let me show you this submarine that I got. You know what I'm saying? Wow, all, I really <laughs> thought that maybe I was like, you know, I, yeah, I got the soft. He's all. You got that soft serve for me. You know what I mean? No, for <laughs> real. That, and when you do it, froze. you have to make sure <laughs> you have to make sure, like, you position yourself correctly, and then usually, like, what you is do the correct it position, in- Anne? <laughs> Let's just fucking spell it out for people here, okay? <laughs> so, like, the way he liked it, he liked it on his chest, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but that's where he liked it. So, imagine if you're doing the reverse cowgirl and you sitting on top of him and you like riding, and then when it when you feel it, you just lift up off the dick and then you just like scoot back and you just let it out. Now, okay, is, this, wow. is this like bare ass? Like he don't got no plastic or nothing on him or like just straight on his skin? Like straight on his skin. Right on his skin. Oh warm, straight God, on his skin. Bro. Jesus Christ. And you know what? I was I was and worried, like, about, I was worried about like God judging me and if I was going to hell or whatnot, but Hey, you know, I mean, it's not, and it's I not, said we're gonna have to have a, I said in the beginning, me and Jesus gonna have to have a conversation. We're gonna have but to, this is different though. To... It's different. This is why I look, it's different. You're the shitter, not the shitty. Like you're, you know, you're not the one that likes that. You're just like, whatever, that's what you want. Um, you know, back then at that point <laughs> in my life, you're like, I um, do like shitting on people. Like, yeah. Well, I definitely didn't. That I mean, I was grossed dominant, out bro. about it, but it was very, that it was, it was at a point in my life where um, I was facing homelessness and I just needed to get money. Mm. So, you know, if I have like a little friend who like me and you feel like you want some old weird shit, sure. <laughs> How much? I, then I will shit on you. So like that's, right. that's a little bit different of a story. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. like over here thinking that you're just casually hooking up with people that you, you know what I mean? And either way, well, you know, but, but you're over here doing it to live your life. You know, yeah, well, like, I was more so mode. doing it like, yeah, yeah I, at that point, yeah, I was survival in survival mode. mode. Now, yeah. now a guy cannot like the word where, where me and him fell off was because even after all that, or like he loved eating ass. So like he wanted to take a shower and then and eat ass rich. and and I just be like, and that. after he'd be like, all right, well, I'm gonna call you later. And he would lean in for a kiss. And it's like, I know you didn't. I know you didn't. Don't like, do that. And I was like, stop playing. Stop playing. Yeah. Stop playing. yeah. <laughs> that ATM so didn't it, work for you, huh? Yeah. And he used to be like, the ATM's well, closed. And he'd be like, but it's from your body. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Mm. I don't give a shit about none of that. Like that, I don't, I don't. give any shit. Yeah. I do not take any shit. No. Uh, literally, <laughs> <laughs> like I give zero fucks. Mm-hmm. Please don't do that. Yeah. So that, um, but I mean, you know, when you growing up and you just trying to survive, shit, it is what it is. I don't give a fuck what y'all like. I just need to make sure that I'm secure. And and honestly, he was a cool person. I will say he he was like super nice. He helped me out a mm. lot. Um, shit he just had some real like, and he had so much money. I just felt like you have so much money to waste for no reason, like just for no you know, reason. You know and I've else? learned the more money you have, the nastier you are. You know what? Well, it's I not the a- nastier; are the more nastier you can be with and get away with it. Like yeah. broke people can't be out here shitting on people. Like 
getting shit paying anything. to get shit on. Yeah, you can't do that. Like you we're can't getting pay. shit on. We're getting shit on by everybody else. It's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, they're not about to pay somebody to shit on them. Like nah, yeah, but you know what? I, I was thinking. I was having a. I was having a talk with somebody, and it was like when we we were trying to. Uh, he was bringing up like why millionaires do weird shit, and I was saying it's like because uh, billionaires just like. Sometimes it's like after you done did everything that you've ever wanted to do, sometimes that you just fucking experience so much that you're probably numb to a lot of shit. So you want to do fucking more because you don't feel nothing. You know what I mean? Like it's a mm-hmm. lot of different shit. It could be a lot of different things, but you just trip off how some of these celebrities, they get caught for what they get caught for. It's like, dude, you got, I mean, I, I know every nobody's life is perfect, but it's like, yo, you, you got a lot of good, great shit going on. And it's like, why do you, you know what I mean? It's because a lot of times they they done drove all the cars they want to drive. You know, they done been everywhere all around the world. They done fucked all the bitches. Now, now they need to fuck two bitches. Now they need to fuck three bitches for it to do it for them. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, exactly you know what I mean? It it's, it's, you know, it, it's because you run, you, I, I feel like the more money you have, the what that you have to be more grounded as your best as you can as to who you've been and who you are. Because if you notice like a lot of the real rich, successful people that have managed to not we've managed to not find out some shit about them at least i'm gonna say i'm not gonna say that they haven't but you know uh, a lot of them you know they um a lot of those people that are they're more grounded you know they don't you don't see them out there with a lot of shit and you don't see them trying to live the wild life they're like hella quiet if they're in the entertainment they do their entertainment shit but you don't hear much about their life outside of that you know what i mean their personal life they're not messy they're not you know what i mean and it's because uh, you have to kind of stay grounded when you have a lot. You know, I, 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 at one point in my life, I had a lot of money. I was making a lot of money just doing stupid shit. And um, I lost it all. You was know, you working for Patty? Nah, hell no. <laughs> Patty don't, Patty gets paid by the governments. Yo, like the, the whole earth is indebted to Patty for her and what the rest <laughs> of the Avengers did for us. So it was like, <laughs> how dare you put a price on Patty? You know, Patty is fucking... <laughs> She's forever. She's 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 grandfathered into this shit. You dig what I'm saying? She's uh, you're lucky. You're lucky there ain't enough room, or she'd be up on Mount Rushmore with the rest of them. You know what I'm saying? But you know that's that's neither here nor there. Patty's still humble enough to bring herself down to our level and and, and interact with common folk like us. You know what I mean? But that's neither here nor there. You dig what I'm saying? But um, I mean, I don't know. I'm high now, and this is crazy. Like we don't, we don't. Oh my it. god! We right, I left, got, up and down. I got this whole some podcast weed. Real fast, huh? I got some weed. So I have a cute weed? little pipe. Yes, I have a cute little pipe. Oh shit! And so the only reason why I ain't smoked it is because I told y'all my mama Joe witness she here. So she came for my son's graduation, mm-hmm. and then everybody tested positive for COVID. So, they, so now everyone's hold up. Yeah. Yeah, so now we all just kind of stuck in the house yeah, together. Yeah. And I hella want to smoke. I want to get my pipe, but I'm like. Where do you smoke in the house uh, where she won't sniff it out? Like my mom is uh, like, yeah. she like a canine. Diff- she got a different kind of nose. My aunt used to be like that. My my aunt is like that actually. She could smell it like in 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 it, it could be in another room. She'll step in your house and be like, there's weed in this house somewhere, like type shit. Like, you know, like, <laughs> she like she feel it. Like, she's like, on. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk like nah, like you don't even like sometimes I'd be like, you know, you're spying on us. There's mics in this motherfucker. So you know how the fuck you know about that. She was double rap packed and all this other shit. Like, hell nah, you know. But um, you know, um, um, so yeah. what I did right was I went. I'm, in the I'm car. still out of shock that you're smoking weed. That's what I'm saying. It's like you know. <laughs> well, listen. She, it. she said that she had I, it. I, I had it. I feel it. like I people been, who don't smoke weed always no, want to be like, "Ooh, I got some weed." She's going to. No, I I, I no. want to. So this was my plan, right? So this is my plan tonight. I plan on going into the car with the pipe. I'm gonna roll all the windows up. And I'm gonna just smoke it just a little bit, like maybe take two, three hits, and then I'm gonna put it out and put it in a Ziploc bag and then put it back in the other bag, uh, in the mason jar, and then put it in the closet. Yeah. That's the point. I'm so proud of you, Anne. See, you know, you, you you understand that there's no skipping the process and you're smoking weed like a true first timer hiding it from your parents outside in a <laughs> or, or Wait, like, and hell <laughs> oh no! Why am I hiding it? And I'm so fucking old and this is my house. Because you can't skip the process. On the, <laughs> on the way to becoming a stoner, you have to, there's certain milestones that you have to achieve. And part of that is that you ain't no real stoner unless you hit it from your parents at one point or another. 
<laughs> and whether they smoked or not, you know, there, there's always that time when they find out you smoke. You dig what I'm saying? So congratulations to you. And yes, I used to have to hide everywhere to go smoke my weed. You know what I mean? But I, I wonder, Ann, what prompted you to, to want to smoke weed? Like, what's, like was it just oh because you got some good shit or what? Good question. So what prompted me, I've been high before, but it's always like contact high, right? But I tell people like, being in it's the always, yeah, definitely. Yes. I've lived <laughs> there a couple up, times. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's more so just the fact that so I'll say I, I feel like I do have to shift my vice um, because I recently had a situation where I feel like I lost somebody I love over a night I really don't remember. Mm-hmm. I got in my emotions. I got, I got it. hella drunk. I was Said some shit at, you weren't supposed to say. Um. I, I just put my friend in a position that in my sober mind I would have never done. Mm-hmm. And that bothered me so much that even since then I haven't drank. So like this is my first time drinking since that happened and that was like two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Maybe three. But I got so drunk, bro. Like the police brought me home. I don't even know how yeah, like I came up. home. Yeah, I came home with a, a, a police um, business Pardon. card on the side of my bed and hey, then woke the up to a phone bed. call. What the fuck really happened? Uh, Hold on. I was so <laughs> drunk, I do not know. <laughs> Hopefully nothing. Um, but I mean, yeah, are I you was sure? Because I love to fucking... It's like I ain't got no case. No, because when I woke up, my pussy was dry. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, care. my pussy was dry. I still had on drawers. Like, that's, I don't think nothing happened. Yeah, um, that's but, bad. Jesus right. Christ. Um, but the point the, is, well, is your ass got in officer. trouble, and you, yeah, and you, you lucky. Your but I didn't get a DUI or nothing, and so I feel like you know, with to me, that was a blessing. That's somebody really looking out for me because, mind you, I was in Emeryville. I don't even remember driving to Pittsburgh, let alone having my car parked at the Pittsburgh police station, and I'm all the way at home. My dumb ass had to walk from my house all the way up to the police station just to get my car. You like I. Your dr- ass. Yeah, so I just feel Big like time. since then, I feel like, I one, I really do have to find a way to show my friend, like, I'm so apologetic. I never want to put her in that position again. But then, two, I also feel like I know when it comes to my emotions, drinking is not good for me. Like, yeah. I get if I get sad, mad, whatever, I will drink till I pass out, and that's not a good thing. So yeah. I just feel like, for me... um. I've never had that happen with weed. Most of the time with weed, I just fall asleep. So maybe people are onto something where, you know, liquor is not going to get me to where I want to be, but weed might. Plus, I get the best sleep. The best sleep. I was like, you know what? I woke up so well rested, like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know what? And and, and really, I bet that D helps, though, too. <laughs> the other night quill, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. <laughs> For your nighttime coffee and gagging and you know throat medicine, you know what I'm saying? And you know, rock you to sleep really easy. <laughs> <laughs> look, yeah, and it's like, yeah, it's the weed. It's the weed. I'm sure it's it is. The weed. Man. But look, I mean, if you feel like you are that kind of way where you're drinking, then you should not fucking drink. You know, what I mean, that's that's real talk. Mm-hmm. Like, I rarely drink because. um I just just because not not because of that, but just because um, you're more likely to, you know, get into the wrong situation when you're drinking, regardless. Like if you're at home, that's mm-hmm. one thing. And I drink at home. But like if I go out, I rarely drink. You don't see me out outside at the bars. And, you know, if I have a beer, I might have a beer or two and that's it and keep it light. And it depends who I'm around. You know what I mean? Because, um, you know, like you got to be more careful. You know, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You got to you, you can't. Um, you know, you can't think that just because, you know, you're in the moment that everything's cool. You dig what I'm saying? You got to always be mindful of what you're doing. I don't like, to me, I don't like drinking like that because I don't like blacking out. And no. usually my blackouts involve me just returning home, whatever, or, or 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 waking up like, how the fuck did I get here? But it's like, I, I don't drink to that point no more because of that. Like, yo, that's, that's, that's extra. It's too much. You know what I mean? That's, it's dangerous. Yeah, it so, is. um, you know, because of that, um, you know, I keep that shit to a minimum. So I feel you. But if you feel mm-hmm. that way, because I, I ain't gonna lie, I've been having all kinds of little things going on, you know what I mean? And, and, and a lot of people that I've been talking mm-hmm. to, we all been talking about uh, people that can handle liquor. 
we had a conversation with some folks from a different uh city they were telling me about it there and telling me about their friend and shit and it was just like yeah I, I, I at this point in my life i can't be around anybody that doesn't know how to handle their liquor and i can't and, and that makes me want to not drink around them more too though because um you know it's it, it i've had instances where i brought people around and you know they've gotten drunk and all that stuff and, and just made awkward situations and stuff like that and it's like or I've, I've been out with in places with people you know you get that drunk friend that always wants to fight or he always wants to do this it's like <laughs> yo i cannot afford to get in trouble because you want to get drunk and you want to you want to step out and you want to show everyone how tough you are it's like fuck that shit you know what i mean it's not even about that is if i can't be around you we can't have a good positive vibe and drink and have fun then i don't want to do it you know what i mean and furthermore no, i don't want to i'm not because i'm a happy drunk but at the same time i also know like i said when i black out i don't ever want to i don't ever want to feel like i'm not in control you did what i'm saying so if i if i i don't drink to to, to that point anymore like, you know i stopped doing that shit because of that yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like, oh shit, like, you know what I mean? You, you blacked out. I'm sure I'm on autopilot in, in good hands because I trust myself, but that doesn't mean that I'm need, I'm, I'm a, I need to be risking that shit and, and, and putting that shit to the test. So I salute you though. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people can't really understand that, you know? And yeah, it's good they, to know your boundaries, know your yeah, limits, what you and, could do, what you shouldn't do, you know? And you know right. yourself and you know yourself and yeah. you're like, yo, if this ain't it, then let me, let me switch it up. Yeah, we ain't never did me like that. You're damn right. Goddamn. Well, right. see, and also, so in full disclosure, I've been telling people, certain people, so normally I don't put my business out there like that, but I've told several people, sometimes I question if I struggle with alcohol. I don't drink every day. I, I could go like a month without drinking and be perfectly fine, but there will be those moments where I am emotional or where I feel like I am in a safe space with people that I trust. Mm. And I feel like I will just, I will need to cry it out or something. And I will just let loose and just go crazy. And to me, that means that there's something that I need to work on that I need to fix for myself. And then the other big thing for me wasn't just, you know, like I love my friend really like that's like my sister. So the fact that I, I feel like I violated her, that was a problem. But then also it kept me, was kept me like, oh no, like I don't even drink hard alcohol no more. I only drink wine and I don't even drink wine like that. It's because the only thing I could think is I have um, my cousin. Um, I have a, she's not my cousin, but she's like my cousin, a close family relative um, who was in a situation where her brother had one drunken night, ended up hurting somebody, killed the person and is in prison. I can't imagine that with the knowledge that my husband is deceased and gone and my kids don't have nobody else. So like, there's so many different factors. So it's just yeah. like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should just get high and fall asleep. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, it's not, <laughs> at the end of the day, it ain't never worth it with all the drive share shit that's going on right now. And it's never worth it to uh, throw your life away. You know what I mean? I know somebody mm -hmm. else in a similar situation and they're gone forever now. You know what I mean? I was incarcerated with people that were in there for like wiping out families and stuff while they were drunk and nothing happened to them. And well, nothing happened to them physically, but then they end up going away forever. You know what I mean? So it's like, or for a very long time. So uh, it ain't never worth it. You know, the fact that right. you, you have the, you have enough in you to, to spot that out. And yeah, if you got, I mean, we all got issues and we're all working through them at, at life. You know, we're all at different paces and levels and we have, have different levels of trauma that we've experienced. You dig what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. at, at the same time, like the fact that you at least are willing to see what else is out there, you know what I mean? Willing to do the work and work on yourself. That's important. You know, at the end of the day, we, we, we are learning, we are trying to be better people. We're trying to make things the best that we can as we can, you know, so part of that is is growing pains you feel me and uh, i feel like um i'm glad i asked because it, this could be like as like an account accountability uh kind of for you you know what i mean so that way like five years down the road you can like look back on this um episode and just be like damn look how much i've grown from that mm -hmm. moment you know yeah. and then like kind of like have a record of that yeah. that's fucking yeah dope. i think and thank you i think dope. the other yeah. part of it is also like um one so like i've gotten myself back into therapy and other stuff like that but i think one of the biggest things that i took from it is like um, like alcohol is not worth losing the people i love that's one Thanks. um but two i think it's important for like i mean 
I've always been a very open person and very transparent. And this is just an unfortunate part of my my journey. But I do feel like the fact that um, because originally I wasn't telling anybody this story. Nobody could know. But I think being open and honest about it and receiving the feedback is also open the door for other people to support me while I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. So like now I'm kind of at a point where um, like today or yesterday I was supposed to go to a rap in party because you know I'm for the streets. (laughs) Um, But (laughs) I had to tell myself like I can't put myself well beyond the fact that I'm stuck in a house Mm -hmm. with you know isolation Mm -hmm. but I when they first invited me I had to at first I accepted and then I was like no because I have to like I need to be in a space where I feel like I have enough self-control to not partake before before I can actually be around it so it kind of like so I took all the hard alcohol out of my house Mm -hmm. um I only have wine and it's like you know the wine with no real alcohol content um tasting and shit yeah, but this also is like my first drink, and honestly, my mom is going to drink the rest of it. So it, it's weird because it's not one of those situations where I feel like I always lack self control because I go plenty of places and I'll have like one or two shots. I think there were a few factors of like my emotional state, also the level of comfort I feel where I was at. Um, because I realized mouth, I've yeah. never. Yeah, and like I realized, I never really get. I ex, the only time I've ever gotten drunk in front of my kids was when I was at a family member house where I knew my, my family was going to take care of my kids. Outside mm-hmm. of that, I realized I, my kids are also like one of the things that kind of like pushes me to no, nah, we can't have no more because I still got to drive home and my baby is yeah. going to be in the car. Like it's so weird to me. Like I don't know. I was talking to somebody and they, I was like, I personally, that moment made me feel like maybe I'm an alcoholic. And then when they started asking me all these questions, I'm like, no, mm-mm, no, no. So I, I don't know. I don't know. You're not it's an a alcoholic, process. but you just don't um, process shit well when you're on alcohol. You know what I mean? If you yeah, it's alcohol. like you don't always got to label something like you don't got to be something. You know what I mean? You could just know your limits. You could just know you got to set Well, you do. The fact that you're saying yeah, you right now. Yeah. So that's real talk. So, so look. Well, that's podcast. where I met people. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's still known about podcasts. We're going to keep it moving. You know, this this has been a blessing to be able to get back on here and, and give people some consistency. Hopefully they like what they heard. Uh, forgive us. We're still working out the Zoom situation, though. But as we get it going, uh, y'all will get to, you know, feel this a little bit more. We're not going to do it all the time. But like I said, as needed right now, we're not trying to be super spreaders. You feel me? Unless... Uh, <laughs> Unless y'all like that, I mean. <laughs> and we're not hey, trying to did be you serious. know? Come back, no, nobody likes that. <laughs> okay. No, but did you know that. that during COVID they got super gonorrhea? What? Yes, there is something called super gonorrhea. You ain't never googled it. Oh my it's god! Got an S on his chest and a cape. Hey, mm-hmm. I guess I don't get out that much. Like, thank God. Like, apparently, I can't. Well, things, some things are you. I some can't. things you're just grateful that you don't have to know about. Right over you the know, head. You'll never know. Well, I'm just saying, when you said super spreaders, I'm like, oh my God, there was an article I read about super gonorrhea, and because um, people were taking so much medicine because during the pandemic they were getting sick, whatever the COVID vaccine or something was making it so that when people were getting treated for gonorrhea, the medicine wasn't working. So they did labeled it super gonorrhea because the regular antibiotics don't work. Like I said, oh my God. I was in there doing push-ups and dips, you know what I mean? And, and <laughs> eating four meals a day and fucking bench what pressing fuck? over 500 pounds. Super, hey. You know what I'm saying? So look, it's the Know Vibe podcast. We're going to have to end it on that because that's like, that, that's enough. God damn it. That's enough. That's just straight up. It's the No Invite Podcast. You already know what it is. You can find us on Instagram at no underscore invite underscore podcast. You could also go to any podcasting platform, look up No Invite Podcast, and uh, we'll pop up. Also, if you are really down with the movement and you like what you hear and you understand that we're all flawed humans right here, just trying to trying to make ourselves better, then, then you should definitely go to the YouTube page at Rebirth Media Films. That's the YouTube channel. Make sure that you guys go there, subscribe, slander us in the comments, tell Anne how much of a scumbag she is, or <laughs> tell me how much of a scumbag I am. It's okay, because we can take the slander. We'll still be happy and smiling. Well, 
And, Me um, too. Call me a scumbag in the comments. I yeah. like it. <laughs> no. uh, so, like, anyways, the way her voice sounded sound like she likes <laughs> she likes that shit. Would be little me. She does. You know? <laughs> she, no, you come back. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, rebirth channel r i b i r t h media films with a z find us there subscribe and uh leave us a comment you know what i mean this known by podcast season three the progression episode 92 i uh, appreciate y'all i don't know how i'm gonna label this one or what i'm gonna do with it but just know that it should be out soon uh you guys keep uh keep it um a lot of things you can keep it, but we just keep it keep it professional. That's what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> no, fuck that. Know, keep it boys. Let's yeah, that's that's like, what I usually keep tell it people. Regular. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and we'll we'll see you when I'm looking at you. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. One.